The following is a non-profit fan animation with the intent of portfolio and to get a job. Doctor Who is owned by the BBC and the Celestial Toymaker is written by Brian Hales. Please support the official animations and I hope you enjoy. You will kindly cease this practical joking and let us go at once, hmm? Patience, Doctor, patience. You've only just got here. Relax. It's so nice to see you again. But now you have, so let us go. You're so innocent, Doctor. The last time you were here, I hoped you'd stay long enough for a game. But you had hardly time to turn around. Then very wise I was too, hmm? You and your games are quite notorious. You draw people here like a spider does to fly. How absurd. It amuses me to give amusement. Like that, hmm? That is one of my rules, certainly. You condemn them to become your toy forever. But if they win, they're perfectly free to go. And if I refuse? Then you lose by default, is that what you choose? No, I do not. I should never have left the TARDIS. Another one of your conjuring tricks, hmm? <laughs> You're so insatiably curious. That's why I ensured that the scanner would be blank. I knew that would bring you out. What game is it you want me to play? This. The Trilogic Game? The Trilogic Game. A game for the mind, Doctor, the developed mind. Difficult for the practiced mind, dangerous for the mind that has become old, lazy or weak. You infer that my mind is getting weak and oh, old? We shall see. Perhaps it is merely lazy. How dare you? So you still think that you can pit your mind against mine? Of course I can. Good. I hope that the time you have spent dabbling in your researches round the universe hasn't dulled you. I need you. You need me? Yes. I'm bored. I love to play games, but there's no one to play against. But you will become my perpetual opponent. We shall play endless games together, your brain against mine. Uh, you said if I win the game, uh, I can go. So you can, Doctor. So you can. But I think you will lose. Can you remember how to play? I am only allowed to move one piece at a time. That is right. And you must rearrange them in the same order that they are now on point C. And uh, I am not permitted to put a larger piece on a small piece. Correct. And you have 1,023 moves to do it in. That is the exact amount. If you make one mistake, you lose. And to help you count, there. When the two rows of numbers match, the game is over. <laughs> I see. Can I begin? Don't be so impatient, Doctor. There. We mustn't forget them. You are not asking them to play this game. Good heavens, no. They are on the competitive quest. Quest? What quest? The hunt for the TARDIS. Win the games, and you get it back. be joking, kids game. Stephen, go on. You have to cross these obstacles without falling down. And if you get home without falling down, you win the game. And what's, well, what's his name they're going to be doing all this time? His name is Joey. I'm Clara. He will play it too, of course. 
And if he loses? No answer that time. All right, chum, do you want to show me how it's done? That means yes, I suppose. Dodo, Stephen, this is the doctor. The game you're going to play is not so innocent as it looks. Be on your guard. If you lose this game, we shall be here forever. So watch out for... That was unwise of you, doctor. I must warn them. Attend to your own game. Move 152. Keep playing, Doctor. And to stop you interfering, I shall have to dematerialize you again. There. You are overreaching yourself, toy maker. How can I play this game? Let's see. Suppose we leave you one hand. There. I suggest you resume the game. Just a minute. I haven't had a go yet. But the doctor It's all right. I can manage it. Stone, steps, plank, tube. Now, I can do it if you can guide me. After all, if he can do it. Can you see? Not a thing. Right, I'm ready.
Oh, no. Look, I warned you. Let's do it again, this time with him in the booth. Even look at this, you can see right through it. It's not a real blindfold at all. Richard Pearl! The game is not yet over. to find the doctor. Yeah. 